We have a series of videos on common practical procedures in the children's emergency department, so I hope you enjoy. In this video, we're going to talk you through the features of the resuscitator. Once the resuscitator is plugged in and connected to the oxygen and air, we'll start by turning it on and then switching on the light so we can see what we're doing. We'll work from top to bottom. So to start with, we have the clock or timer. This can be used to time your resuscitation. You start it, stop it, and reset it like this. Moving down, we have the temperature settings. The machine will automatically turn itself to pre-warm. But say, for example, you want to increase the temperature of the machine in a hurry, use this button to switch it to manual. You can then dial up the temperature with these buttons here. If you're using a temperature probe to continuously monitor the baby, attach it here. You just need to remember to set the settings here from pre-warm or manual to baby. You've already seen the power and the light. This button with a key locks the settings so they can't be changed until you press it again. This blender corresponds to the FiO2 of the gas coming out of the auxiliary gas port that you'll see in a moment. You can dial it up or down. Most people set the initial FiO2 as 21 so that you're resuscitating on air. This row corresponds to the suction. You turn it on using this switch and then increase the pressure by turning this dial. When you occlude the suction device, this needle will move to show how much negative pressure is exerted. This large panel corresponds to the ventilation settings. A T-piece can be attached to the auxiliary gas port here. You will have already set the FiO2 with the dial above. Working from left to right, we have the rate. Most people start with an initial rate of 40 breaths per minute. If you're not setting the PEEP with the valve on top of the T-piece device, you can set it here. And to the right, you have the on-off switch that you turn on whenever you're using the auto breath. This dial is the airway pressure relief, or the peak inspiratory pressure. Most people like to set this at a maximum of 30 to begin with. Once the T-piece is connected to the gas outlet, you can test your pressures. First by occluding the valve inside the mask, the needle will move to your desired level of PEEP. To check your peak inspiratory pressure, occlude the valve at the top of the T-piece. This dial controls the flow rate through the gas outlet. Most people set it at 8 litres a minute. Below this, you have an alternative gas outlet that always runs on 100% oxygen. You can attach a waters or anaesthetic circuit here, and you adjust the flow rate in the same way as above using this dial. These dials show how much air and oxygen are in the tanks behind the resuscitator, and this switch should be used whenever the gases are in use.